Good morning, my name is Raymar Soparabliguzon. I am a third year BSIT student at JH Area State College. Uh, today I'm going to present to you uh, a project that I have created for my major subject. This one is a product catalog. So this is the main page for the project that I have. Uh, the name of the catalog that I have is a coffee shop. Uh, this is a Guzon Cafe Brew and Bake. So, I'm going to discuss to you the first is uh, this one is the opening tag for the HTML, uh, the simplicity body. This uh, background color is uh, what makes the, the entire system uh, yeah, for the website. Of the product catalog so in order to locate that you have to um, open any browser that is supported by your laptop in my case I'm going to use uh, Microsoft Edge so you have to locate your file and local localhost coffee shop in my case that's the default uh, file so this one is the background color that I have used next uh, we have this one is the reference for the bootstrap for the characteristic of this this one when you hover the mouse and any button it changes its color next is this one uh, this one is the the number of uh, products can be viewed in in your in the page say for instance you, uh, you selected uh, a category for an iced coffee uh, that, uh, that would be large for example and then you select that it displays a maximum of 10 and, uh, products here for the coffee you know, that would be the flavors of the coffee would be the Americana, honey, uh, almond milk, cold brew, the cappuccino, black, blend, roast, that's it. And then uh, this one, the location, and I, I'm using an elf, an, it's an elf, if an else condition, so this one, a products uh, variable, in the declaration of the reviews, yeah. next would be uh, the end start per page and this one is a confer the SQL connection that would be on the host the user password and the DB name or database name for the query uh, select all from coffee where coffee size uh, interest ordered by coffee type which is the result is equal to MySQL query or die query died coffee while MySQL fits for is and then the product the size of the products if uh, and is equal to products include else uh, MySQL connect connection for the database uh, user the password database query died and for the query select distinct coffee and coffee size from coffee ordered by coffee size and coffee time so result for the query using this code why each row is equal to MySQL fetch array uh, result coffee selection row for the coffee type and then coffee size it includes the D forms so the D forms is this one uh, opening tag for the HTML uh, this one is the head uh, coffee brew and bake I wonder why I put some bake here where I actually don't have a bake products in my catalog so select another category is this one is the Guzon coffee brew and bake and then yeah I also use the same uh, background color, the same properties, so that uh, the entire design of the project would be uh, having the same color. Next is the 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 Sunday body style, the margin, and echo, and the text alignment for the header header would be this one uh, on the center, and echo. This one is for the radio button uh, and the selection for the radio button. That would, this one yeah. large medium this one or the video button and then echo input type submit class this one the btn uh, btn success uh, is a characteristic for the, the button that as you're going to hover in the button itself it will change its color and select category okay. next uh, the code for the display this one uh, coffee id 
coffee ID, the flavor, the coffee flavor availability, the price, and the picture. Uh, for Rehead, the title coffee shop, this one. If you select the coffee, iced coffee in a large category, so it's a, uh, it launches here in a coffee shop. That one, coffee shop, and same with the, um, the border is solid, yeah, border collapse. Yeah, also the background color is the same. Uh, margin this one is for the tables table heading uh, that's it so the secret info here is the connection for uh, the system this is the local host to root in the password I omitted the password here so that it would be more accessible in the DDB name of coffee shop so the database here is using the PHP uh, in order to locate that you have to open a browser and then open a new tab uh, localhost you just have to type the localhost itself localhost I'm sorry because my keyboard is broken uh, type the localhost and then it opens the, the database you have to select php my admin uh, take some time to load uh, that's it and then here is the database for the coffee shop oh I'm sorry uh, uh, okay, let's proceed to the, the database. And this one, you have to open the coffee shop, and then here is you're going to browse their exist uh, plant the database that I have created. Uh, this one, uh, we have the coffee type, uh, premium brew, the iced coffee, and the milk based express specialties. Those are the only three main category for a pro our product catalog. That's it. So uh, let me take you to the design. This one. Uh, these are the three uh, main products that I have for my catalog: iced coffee, milk base, expression specialties in the premium brew. So if you're going to select, uh, say for instance, you're going to select the uh, premium brew, since uh, programmers usually take uh, hard coffee so that uh, it, would, it would keep us awake making our projects. So for instance, a premium brew and a large size selected category so here there it launches the coffee for the large a large size of coffee uh, there is this this one you just have to uh, select this is the available items and then the prices for each coffee so you select another category uh, for the iced coffee medium uh, select category that would be all in a medium size and then you have the product here the same price these are the picture that you could browse in order, in order for you to really see uh, what is the product that you are ordering that's it uh, thank you for listening I hope you have learned something from our discussion today I hope you hit the notification bell subscribe Stop. Thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something from our discussion today. If you are new to this YouTube channel, uh, don't hesitate to press that subscribe button and hit the notification bell in order for you to be notified if I have uploaded another videos.